and NASA on their pioneering decade-long mission to explore the Pluto system and the Cooper Belt. Billions of miles from Earth, this little robotic spacecraft will show us the first glimpse of mysterious Pluto, the distant icy world on the very edge of our solar system. Pluto initially appeared to be a far-off remnant at the frontier of our solar system, simply another frozen, forgotten rock. However, the reality is considerably more remarkable than anyone could have ever guessed. What if I told you that something is concealed beneath Pluto's ice-barren surface? A mystery so vast that it has the power to alter our understanding of the universe? Imagine how shocked scientists would be to learn that Pluto isn't actually dead. It contains subterranean volcanic activity and even the elements that make up life, which have long been concealed from us. How might this affect efforts to find extraterrestrial life? Could the secret to comprehending life in the most unlikely settings lie in the frigid, far-off planet of Pluto? Prepare yourself because you will be astounded by what has been concealed on Pluto for so long. For many years, Pluto was thought to be a barren, frozen world on the edge of our solar system. It appeared to be a region too far away and too frigid to have any noteworthy characteristics, much less something as surprising as life. However, the James Webb Space Telescope's groundbreaking discoveries are rapidly altering that perception. The Apple card is being disturbed by the James Webb Space Telescope. We suddenly came to the conclusion that we might need to revise every textbook on the universe's origins. Scientists were initially perplexed by some odd data, a signal that suggested something far more than a frozen shell. And subterranean ocean was revealed by the telescope as it swiveled its infrared lenses toward Pluto. For a planet that is so far from the sun and has surface temperatures that can drop as low as negative 375 degrees, this is revolutionary. How is water able to remain liquid? Unexpectedly, Pluto's relationship with its moon Quran holds the key to the solution. The gravitational attraction between Pluto and Quran creates enough internal heat through a mechanism called tidal heating to prevent Pluto's subsurface water from freezing solid. We never thought that a planet that far away would have a hidden liquid ocean beneath its icy surface. There's more, though. There was more to the James Webb Telescope. Scientists were astounded to discover organic molecules, the foundation of life in Pluto's atmosphere. Not all organic molecules are indicators of chemical reactions. They are the very components that have the power to create life. Consider this. Once thought to be a dead ice ball, Pluto may really be concealing some of the most basic components required for life. These organic molecules raise the possibility that Pluto's atmosphere is going through intricate chemical processes similar to those on Earth, which might lead to the unthinkable. Life on Pluto, or at least the possibility of it. And this begs the question, could life exist far below Pluto's surface if it can hold organic molecules and liquid water? Scientists are excited about this potential, which is forcing us to reconsider what constitutes a habitable planet. Pluto isn't the icy tundra we originally believed, as we discover more. Beneath its cold exterior, this dynamic world harbors secrets that have the potential to fundamentally alter our perception of extraterrestrial life. Not only are these Pluto-related discoveries fascinating, but they are revolutionary. For many years, we thought that life must be dependent on the sun's warmth. After all, everything on Earth is powered by the sun. Because of it, life exists, animals flourish, and plants bloom. But what if sunshine wasn't necessary for life to exist? What if it could flourish at locations so cold and far away that the sun is only a little speck in the sky? This concept isn't as crazy as it seems. There are entire ecosystems on Earth that exist in total darkness in the deepest oceanic regions. Without any sunlight, organisms such as fish, bacteria, and gigantic tube worms are able to survive by using the heat and chemicals emitted by hydrothermal vents located deep within the ocean floor. Despite being far from the sun, life not only endures but thrives in these conditions. And beneath its frozen surface, Pluto might provide just such a habitat. We now know that Pluto is not the icy, dead world we once believed it to be. It has a secret underwater ocean that is kept liquid by a phenomenon known as tidal heating. 
Pluto obtains its energy via gravitational interaction with Charon, its moon. Pluto and Charon strain and stretch as they move around one another, causing friction that heats Pluto. Even if the surface is a chilling negative 375 degrees Fahrenheit, this heat is sufficient to prevent its subterranean ocean from freezing solid. It's an intriguing illustration of how life could persist in the absence of starlight. There's more though. Additionally, organic molecules were found in Pluto's atmosphere by the James Webb Space Telescope. These are the same compounds that are present in Earth's life-rich surroundings and are the building blocks of life. These chemicals' discovery on Pluto begs the crucial question. Is there life, albeit microscopic, thriving in that secret ocean? Although we don't yet have conclusive evidence, it is conceivable. It has all the elements required for life, heat, water, and organic chemistry. The answer to the question of whether Pluto contains oxygen is, of course, no. Unlike us on Earth, it lacks oxygen. With trace amounts of carbon monoxide and methane, nitrogen makes up the majority of its atmosphere. However, in environments devoid of oxygen, life on Earth has developed under some of the harshest circumstances. Oxygen is not necessary for the survival of creatures found in the deep oceans, volcanic vents, and other hostile settings. The same may apply to any possible life on Pluto. How strong is Pluto then? Pluto is a very powerful planet in its own right, even though it isn't as big or heavy as Earth. It's more than just a piece of ice near the solar system's border. Beneath its surface, Pluto is a living, breathing entity. There is evidence of complicated geological activity, such as cryovolcanism, as well as an ocean and a dynamic atmosphere. This indicates that Pluto is not as dead as previously believed. Geological processes there have the power to alter the surface and preserve a secret world underneath. Our understanding of the habitability of far-off worlds is being challenged by these discoveries. It begs the question, what else might be out there in the far reaches of space waiting to surprise us? If Pluto, which was once believed to be a barren ice ball, can support the circumstances necessary for life, finding useful data from such a far and remote environment was the primary obstacle to Pluto exploration. Pluto was too far away from Earth, nearly 4.7 billion miles, for conventional space exploration techniques to reach. Our knowledge of Pluto is limited to surface-level observations due to its extreme cold and lack of sunlight, which prevented it from being investigated with traditional telescopes. This was a crucial problem since any theory on what might be beneath its cold exterior would remain just that, a theory in the absence of conclusive evidence. The stakes were really high. Being a tiny planet on the edge of the solar system, Pluto served as a metaphor for our lack of knowledge about far-off worlds. As we discovered more about Pluto, we came to understand that it might provide important insights into how planets change over time, how life might exist in unexpected places, and how to reconsider what is required for a planet to host life. It became evident that if Pluto's mysteries were solved, the boundaries of what we consider habitable, not just in our solar system, but across the universe, could be redefined. In order to address these issues, researchers looked to the James Webb Space Telescope for an answer. We were able to see beneath Pluto's thick atmosphere, thanks to Webb's amazing infrared capabilities, which gave us hitherto unattainable information on the planet's surface and atmosphere. Webb offered deeper, more accurate data than flybys or surface photos alone, exposing previously unknown elements in Pluto's atmosphere, like as organic compounds. This was a significant discovery since it demonstrated that, despite its frigid and remote surroundings, Pluto possesses the elements necessary for life. Furthermore, it was discovered that the energy source maintaining Pluto's underground ocean liquid was tidal heating, which is the heat produced by the gravitational attraction between Pluto and its moon, Charon. This was the pivotal moment. The ocean is maintained by the heat from tidal forces rather than the sun, which may also offer a favorable habitat for microbiological life. The existence of organic compounds raises the possibility that Pluto may support life, at least in microbial form, which was not a possibility when the planet was originally identified. What are the implications of this for the future? More expeditions, more data, and further exploration of the limits of what we deem habitable are the obvious next stages. 
The exact mechanisms that sustain life on Earth, organic molecules, water, and energy sources, are present in areas we never would have imagined, despite Pluto's distance from the Sun. The findings here may force us to reconsider the possible locations of life in the universe and have far-reaching effects not only on Pluto, but also on other frozen moons and far-off exoplanets. The answers we've discovered through cutting-edge technology like Webb and the ongoing investigation of our solar system are ultimately increasing the possibilities for what we know about life and our role in the cosmos, despite the enormous hurdles of investigating such a distant environment. It's difficult not to feel both small and important as we gaze out over the enormous, seemingly limitless expanse of space. Pluto, a little dot at the border of our solar system, is far more than scientists previously thought. Hidden for millennia under its frozen surface is an ocean that is warm enough to support life and is formed by the same forces that sustain our own planet. It serves as a reminder that there are many mysteries in the universe just waiting to be unearthed and that even the most remote, forgotten locations may provide the answers to issues we have only just started to consider. Not only is what we've discovered on Pluto a significant scientific advance, but it also serves as a poignant reminder of the wonder and beauty that exist all around us. In an attempt to comprehend the nature of life, the cosmos, and our position within it, we have always turned to the stars for guidance. We now know that life can persist even under the most trying circumstances. Finding life elsewhere becomes far more feasible if there is life on Pluto, or even if there is the possibility of life there. This Pluton finding raises the question, what else is out there? What other frozen moons, far-off planets, or distant galaxies have mysteries that are just waiting to be discovered? We have only just begun to explore the universe, and Pluto has taught us that the possibilities are much more expansive than we could have ever dreamed. Let us be reminded of one basic fact as we continue to explore beyond the stars. The cosmos is huge, enigmatic, and full of possibilities. The road ahead will unveil even more astounding realities, and the wonders we have already found are just the beginning. Every new finding and inquiry brings us one step closer to realizing the universe's immense beauty and potential as well as the prospect that we might not be alone in the coldest, most remote reaches of space. We are therefore reminded that the universe is not only outside of us, but also within of us as we gaze at the stars and the numerous uncharted worlds. Let this finding encourage us to continue looking, to continue to wonder, and to continue to have faith that the answers we are looking for are out there, just waiting to be discovered.